Um, hello! Um, welcome to American Dutchess headquarters. <laughs> um, so we're here doing another live stream. This is our second one this week. Um, it's Abby. I'm Lauren. And that's me. Sorry. <laughs> it's like we're right into it. Hey, everybody. Um, so we thought... I, did someone suggest this one? Someone suggested. Yeah. yeah. Um, talking about meeting our uh, costuming, blogging, uh, dress historian, academia, curatorial, etc., etc., uh, idols that that we have, and um, what that experience was like. And Lauren and I realized that a lot of them were kind of embarrassing, <laughs> but in a funny way. So you get to to laugh at our yeah. shame as we share our uh, stories of meeting our costuming idols uh, here on the internet for all to see forever. Ever, forever. Because uh, once it's on the internet, it never goes away. Now you guys, if you have questions or um, you know, specifically you want us to talk about certain things, mm -hmm. go ahead and type them in the comment box. They pop up below us on our little screen here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will talk about whatever, really whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, within reason, be this be appropriate, <laughs> right? Uh, there's some inappropriate things that happen, so we're gonna share those. Um, yeah. Go ahead and pop them in that comment box and we'll see them, we'll answer them, okay? Yeah. So Abby, you've actually met like a, a ton of really, really VIP, like academic yeah. <laughs> professionals in the costuming yeah. world. So share some of these okay. stories. Um, I don't know which one to start with first, but I think I'll go into probably like the big one for me that it it has, it was just, it's a really funny moment for me. And, and um, the woman that I interacted with, she was just like, I remember that. Yeah, bless you. You, you poor thing. Um, I met Jane Malcolm Davies from the Tudor Taylor uh, about five years ago at a conference in in uh, Colonial Williamsburg, uh, where I was presenting and she was presenting, um, and I was super excited to meet her uh, because I've been a fan for the Tudor Taylors for a while. I I bought their book when it first came out, and then I had actually had a um, online interaction with him via email when I was doing my grad work in Glasgow uh, about trying to do a fashion show for a small uh, museum that I was volunteering at and um, unfortunately it didn't work out and and they were lovely like Jane and Amy were like yeah you can borrow whatever you need but unfortunately through circumstances that I don't have to do um, it wasn't able to happen and so I always felt really bad about not being able to borrow these things from them and meet them. I really, really wanted to meet them. And so here I am at this conference. It's like my first like real academic conference. Plus I'm presenting and so I'm already just like a hot mess to begin with. Um, and I was actually presenting on costume bloggers and blogging and things like that too. Um, so I was like, Ugh! here we go. And then like we're at this. How did that go? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so we're at the reception like that first night and I get introduced to her because uh, we had mutual uh, friends in common and I just look at her and I just start word vomiting <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, hi, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Abby and I don't know if you remember this, but I talked to you about like a couple of years ago about my cousin. <laughs> and I like started to weep and it was, she was just like, hi, uh, nice to meet you. And I was like, oh my God, Abby, pull yourself together. You're a mess. <laughs> and I just couldn't because I was just like, all of this like trauma that came back from grad work came up and I was just like, I'm so sorry. I just felt so bad. And I just so nice to meet you. She's just like, hi, nice to meet you too. I'm Jane. <laughs> um, and that was our first interaction together. Now I've been able to get to know Jane um, over the past few years and she's awesome. And um, I actually feel really <laughs> privileged to call her a friend. Um, as well as a colleague, and I can't always bring this up in our zoo. I'm like, do you remember that time? So, especially if we've had like Prosecco. I'm like, do you remember that time? And I was like, ah! <laughs> So that was probably like my most embarrassing. Um, another one, same conference happened. This conference was full of like big hitters, man. Um, I had just presented, and Jenny Tiramani comes up to me and starts speaking to me. So who, who is Jenny Tiramani? Okay, yeah. okay, in case so, they don't know. So for those of you who don't know who Jenny Tiramani is, and you probably actually do, you just don't realize it, um, she, uh, I don't think she's in charge of it anymore, but she used to be the main costume designer for The Globe. So when The Globe was doing all of those amazing, very period correct 
uh, Renaissance style costumes. That was Jenny Tiramani. If you own the 17th century dress books from the V&A, um, but they have like the x-rays and everything, that's Jenny Tiramani and Susan North. Uh, if you've ever heard of the School of Historical Dress, that's Jenny Tiramani. Have you heard of Luca from who went to costume college? He works with Jenny Tiramani. Um, oh, yeah, oh. I'm super bummed I missed him because I probably would have been like, ah! <laughs> um, and so, and so Jenny Tiramani, she's brilliant. She's absolutely brilliant. Great researcher, great costumer. And I give my little talk and I'm just like, do, 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 do. Um, Cause I'm just like fresh off the boat from Sweden. So I'm also like in reverse culture shock. And she like is so nice and so complimentary. I'm just like, hey, I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. And I remember uh, <laughs> afterwards, I was like, oh, what, just happened? <laughs> what did I just what say? What did I do? <laughs> and you get that like weird anxiety. You're like, did I say that? Did I do that? Oh my gosh, did I really say what that? What just happened? Did that come out? <laughs> so those are probably my two like most two big embarrassing. Ones. Yeah. Well, I, I want to share ones, a story yeah. about about meeting Abby, actually, because um, this was super awkward. So Abby and I became friends on the internets, and we, you know, we're both blogging. This was about what five, no, four or five years ago. Um, so I yeah. had just started American Duchess, and and you know the idea of Abby working here was, it didn't even exist. The idea of making this a full time job didn't even exist. Um, so I I planned a trip to Williamsburg with my mom. And we went and walked around in costume, of course, that's what you do. And I saw Abby, I knew she was, she worked there. Yeah. She was, you were a sites, uh, sites interpreter. Sites yeah. interpreter. I was so at the Capitol building. She was at the Capitol building taking tickets for the, uh, for the shows that happened in there. And outside the Capitol building was a, um, a horse, Horsemanship display and you know, a big crowd. My mom Benedict and I. Benedict Arnold. It was comes and claims the city. It was Benedict Arnold, yes. Yeah. And my mom and I in our, our costumes walked over to see this and I sort of spied Abby out of the corner of my eye standing over there but because I'm an awkward turtle I did not go up and say hello to her instead I ignored her <laughs> and I pretended I, I did see her there and I just you know fluffed around in my polonaise like my retrousse and we just she did the same thing yeah she was just sort of was like <laughs> It's like, I know you go out of here, but I don't know what to do, 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 do right do. now. Because we're actually both like super awkward turtles. We are. So I have this issue where like I will ignore somebody and then I will just like pretend like, oh, I didn't see you there. So she, she made the first move uh, later that night. It was like, what, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. She texted text me, sent me the message, hey, would you like to get some tea or something? And I was having a stressful, uh, stressful day. So I said yes. And she came and got me in her little... Uh, VW Beetle in the historic area. Drove down the middle of Dog drove, Street. Drove down the middle of Duke of Gloucester Street and uh, curbside. And I thought, well, you know, she might be a, a psycho killer, but I'm gonna get in her car. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and we went to her house because it was so late and nothing nothing was open. And so I was like in this stranger's house with this be wonderful like cup of cinnamon tea that I'll never forget. I have a hot by the way. Oh, great! Because <laughs> Abby's a tea fiend. And we we you know that's I think when we became very good friends and start just talked about everything and had a bitch fest and the whole thing. Yeah. And it was it was really wonderful. And I'm so glad Abby that you actually <laughs> sent me that message because I was not gonna do it. It's not because I didn't like you, but it's because it's I terrifying. in person I am actually incredibly shy and really <laughs> awkward um, so that that's when I met yeah. you yeah. so it's meeting meeting other costumers I tend to do the same thing but the one that I was not shy on well I, I was still awkward was that uh, Maria at costume college a few years <laughs> <Does> ago <laughs> Maria from Finland she is um, you guys all know her before the automobile or um, with the Arista the Aristocat on I believe that was our life journal uh, she she's just one of the, the best historical costumer hobbyists in the world, in my opinion, and one of the nicest people, just stunningly gorgeous and inside and out. Mm -hmm. And she came to costume college a couple of years ago, and I, you know, sidled up to her with the other masses of people, and I was like, mm, hi. <laughs> and I, I, she, you know, oh, hello, you know, she was super nice. And uh, for some reason, I said something, I had met her husband earlier in the day, who, who looks very Finnish, and I said, I'm into race cars. If you guys don't know my, my other side of my life, like, it's cars. I love cars. 
I almost cursed on, oh my God. <laughs> um, so I said to her something like, you know, oh, your husband looks like a rally car driver. And she goes, oh no, he's not. I was like, oh, well, you know, I wasn't expecting that. She says, but I do know this super famous rally car driver who's also an F1 driver. Yeah, we grew up together, like driving rally through the forests of Finland. And my face, I just was like, ah! <laughs> I think she thought I was super weird. <laughs> and uh, so she was sort of like, mm, okay. And I felt very like, okay, this was, yeah. But we got to be, you know, better friends over the weekend, which is what Costume yeah. College is great for. Um, she probably still thinks I'm super weird because, you know, this time at Costume College when I saw her, all I talked about was cars. So sorry. <laughs> sorry, Maria, if you're we watching you, this. Maria, we do awesome. love you. I'm really <laughs> sorry about this. It's awkward. <laughs> Uh, so that, that was meeting a, I think everybody yeah. has a moment like this with their costuming mm -hmm. idol, like somebody who, especially if they're across the world, you, you don't get to see often and it's just like, oh my God. So we have some comments. Yeah. Uh, Laura says, I love your head scarves. Ooh, gotta go back up. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your posts and dedication to creating period pieces. I love seeing your progress with making things. I have recently been inspired. Ooh, uh oh, I need to make, see, <laughs> see come more. on. There we go. Been in. Where did we go? Um, okay. Inspired to make a costume of Claire's from Outlander, so no doubt I will be stalking your pages for tips and tricks. Keep up the great work, ladies. Thank you so much for following. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a lot more on the Outlander patterns and some other things that are going on with 18th century mm -hmm. dress soon. And Amelie wants to know where you got your necklace. This is vintage. It was my great aunt Zora's. Oh, what a She name. was quite a fashionable <laughs> woman. Um, I don't. I think I don't know 50s, 60s, and it's mm -hmm. it's like wooden beads oh, nice. and it kind of makes weird noises but mm -hmm. thank you very much Karen says thank you both for your blogs I have used the tutorials to help me back when I decided to make an 18th century corset for my fun employment hashtag fun employment um, which has to improve my fitting and sewing skills oh, guys. Awesome. Karen we're happy to be of help uh, we've got loads more help coming for you so um, great to happening here that's gonna mm -hmm. be, be hopefully be good for the costuming community and shedding some light on you know the how to's of all this yeah. fun stuff um, also the headscarf comment uh, go to Royal Vintage Facebook page and we actually just finished uh, about an hour hour and a half ago uh, doing a like 35 minute live cast on headscarves tying them uh, what materials we like to use things like that and so that's why we're both wearing very brightly colored headscarves today. This is just how we dress every that, day. There's that too. Yeah. I've worn this, like, this has been my look for about <laughs> three days in a row now. Uh, I'm and I'm just little. lazy. I don't want to do my hair. Um, okay, so, yeah. so what's more awkward turtle moments? So uh, <laughs> you guys, go ahead and leave little stories if you want us to read them out here on our, uh, in our yeah. show. Um, <laughs> awkward moments that you've met, you know, some of your costuming idols, academics, other costumers, blogs whatever we'd love to hear your stories so yeah. uh put them in that comments box down there and we'll, we'll read them out oh i think i saw kathy hages pop up that's another one that i was oh, like yeah. oh it's kathy hey oh my god <laughs> and then i ignored her because yeah. i do that <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no well i think it's interesting because it's one of those things where i feel like we're all, we're all a little bit like social turtles um uh, because because weird. of just like how our world works um, and, and it's one of those things where it's actually really like when we were talking about when we met and how we both did the same thing. It's like, oh, all right, that's not just like me being a weirdo. It's like they're all weirdos, and so it works out really, really well. <laughs> but yeah, it's always funny because because I think everyone kind of gets those moments, and then you go back and you're like. Oh, what did I do? What did I just do? Did the, I just embarrass myself for the rest of my life? There was one where I did embarrass myself for the rest mm -hmm. of my life. There was one. <laughs> So, uh, another couple of years ago, another <laughs> trip to Lindsberg, I went with um, good friends Maggie Waterman and Lauren Marks, and we were mm -hmm. staying with Abby. And uh, during the day, we were being tourists, so we're walking around. Uh, Abby wasn't with us. This is probably a good thing you weren't. <laughs> I was. We were walking around, of course, in our coffees. And. Lauren Marks loves horses, and she she knew Mark Schneider, who plays the Marquis de Lafayette. Mm -hmm. Who else? He plays uh, Napoleon. He does as well. He doesn't do Napoleon for Colonel Williamsburg. Not for Williamsburg. The, uh, the Marquis de Lafayette and Man Page. Okay, mm -hmm. um, fantastic horseman. Mm -hmm. Very very uh, high level historic reenactor. Beautiful clothing. He 
he lives these characters um, absolutely, and he's quite handsome, uh, which got me into trouble. So we're walking along, and, and uh, it's gonna be so embarrassed. The lady of Portland House, Lauren Marks, is uh, come back, please. <laughs> be with me on this. Yeah, talking about horses. And Maggie's talking about horses with Mark Schneider, right? We're going to go see the, the stables. I'm not saying anything, because that's what I do. And, uh, but I have this, this other problem where when a, when a joke comes along, when I see a joke come by, I snatch it and I say it sometimes before I think. That's also why we're friends. That's why we're friends. And uh, I ended up saying something incredibly inappropriate to Mark and sexual. Incredibly <laughs> inappropriate. It's the only thing I had ever said to this poor man. I'm not gonna repeat it, but it had to do with horses and saddles and <laughs> things. I turned about as red as the dress I was wearing. I didn't say anything else to him. And uh, I felt like I wanted to die. I, I did later, I said, I'm really sorry. I, I don't know why I said that. I'm not like that. And, and he was very gracious about it. Um, but to this day, this was now several years ago, to this day, I think Mark probably is like, I don't know about that one. Like, back away. Um, so my sarcasm got the best of me uh, on that. So, yes, yeah, super awkward. That's the most embarrassing thing I think I've said in like a decade to a professional. And it was just, oh, it was so bad. Um, so, Mark, if you're watching this or you see this, uh... I'm really sorry. <laughs> I swear I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> Do you want to read the comments? Yeah, I'll read the comments. <laughs> um, shoes in the background are, are this is from Connie. Uh, shoes in the background are adorable and match your outfits. Oh, thank you. They do. Uh, yes. Sneak preview to spring uh, royal vintage. Spring right stuff. There. Ah! Spring stuff. You don't you don't get these until um, next spring. Yeah. But we are working on some really cool 20s yeah. and 30s uh, stuff for you know. We, we have to work really far out, so yeah. that's our sneak peek and of some of our prototypes. Westy is, Abby, since you've been in Sweden, do you get to see any any Swedish folklore? Um, when it comes to Swedish folklore, and I don't know if that was like a, on the phone thing, like folk dress or folklore, but I'll go to both. Um, I am super into Tompton's. Um, I collect them now, and I collect them for my mom as well. Uh, my husband, for those of you who don't know, he's Swedish. He um, is from Kalmar and Öland, which is in the southern part of Sweden. Uh, he's actually there right now in Stockholm, and he better be watching. I told him we were on here. Well, we've got 42 things. people watching, uh, so. oh, now 46. <laughs> yeah, he probably just now like, oh no. <laughs> um, but, uh, so when I lived there, I was really into Tomptons. Uh, Tomptons are little house gnomes and little, like, uh, little house elves, and they help, help take care of the, um, the livestock, and so they're just like cute little like bearded, gnome elves things and I'm just really into them. Uh, I actually was just telling Lauren we needed to get one for, the, yeah, for the office. We're gonna get a shop elf. Yeah, a shop, shop elf. elf. So that way he can uh, help uh, put, put shoes in boxes. Um, <laughs> or, or things will start disappearing. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> help us build all of our furniture. So Fiona um, says, I think I word vomited at poor Nicole. Uh, this is Hi, Nicole Ru Rudolph. Yeah, um, this is Nicole Rudolph. When I came into the shop for the first time with my freshman yeah. pub public history class. Oh, Fiona. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> who's been into the Margaret Hunter Millinery shop has probably, you know, who is a, a historic customer has probably yeah. said awkward things. I know I definitely have. I've also stayed in there way too long, like way past my welcome. Yeah. Just sitting there thinking I looked, oh, I'm so pretty. And <laughs> the shop girls are like, can you leave now, please? <laughs> no. No. It's never that way. It's never that way, yeah. Um, so yeah, I love the new screen ones. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, you're Swedish as well. Hello. Westy. Yay, Westy. Westy. Yeah. Um, and just stay into the folk dress question really quick. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, Southern Sweden is not quite as into folk dress as... Um, as like Darlana is, so my husband does not have folk dress, and I and I did not like try to go claim myself one either. But it's super cool, and I've been trying to learn more about it, like as as I can. Uh, but since he's not from the Darlana region, it's not quite as like big of a deal, at least for his family. Um, I think it's really cool though, um, and I'm really into Per Hillstrom for research research too. He's an 18th century oh, uh, Swedish artist who yeah. does really cool. Uh, everyday middle class type of imagery. Yeah, excellent. So, oh look, it's, it's Kathy. Oh hi Kathy. So Kathy says, ladies, I love that you have your own TV show. <laughs> Nobody had a choice in this. We're just doing it. No. And all my friends are watching. Oh, 
hi, Kathy's friends. This definitely takes the uh, interwebs up a notch. Thanks, Kathy. But we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Abby came up with this idea. We did, you know, a live cast to introduce her, and I did one last week talking about yeah. shoes and stuff. And we so she said, hey, we should do this every yeah. week. We had a lot of fun on Monday, and we've been having a lot of fun today, too. So. We have, yeah. It's quite enjoyable. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad you guys are watching. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah. So it's always a little bit. We can see up here at the top of the screen how many people are watching. So we've got 50 people. Yeah. Oh no, we just lost one. Oh, we oh gained. Yay! Yeah. Oh, um, oh no, we lost two. Oh, we lost okay. two. Wow, wow. Okay. Um, but the videos that we make live also go onto the um, the, the news feed. They mm -hmm. stay up there and they're in our videos tab, so that you can watch them back later if you miss the live feed. Because I know a lot of you guys are at work or maybe you know, you've got commutes or whatever. You're not going to be able to see them. You can watch them back. We also post these on YouTube, so the American Duchess YouTube channel, as well as um, Royal Vintage has its own YouTube channel too. So even though we are dressed the same and we just did one for Royal Vintage, we, we're doing two different time periods, so we try and keep it separate. Yeah. Um, and we posted this on our Facebook page earlier this week to kind of fish for ideas. Um, because we have ideas, but we also just want to know what you guys are interested in having us talk about and go on about. So if you have any suggestions about what you want to hear us talk about in, in the future for its own little like mini show, um, just leave a comment somewhere. Uh, oh, Hux, oh, I'm sorry guys, my dog, my friend slash dog house sitter just said, uh, Huxley loves you too, I miss him, I miss my dog. <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna have a moment. Um, I'm having a moment. My dog. Um, so, but anyways, if you have any, any suggestions or anything or ideas, uh, just leave a comment and we'll see how we can work it in. Uh, we're going to try to keep doing these every Friday at the same time. So that way, for those of you on the East Coast who are done with work for the week and you want to have, uh, hopefully, a laugh with us and, and <laughs> a conversation, uh, we'll be here uh, doing this every Friday. Um, yep. And we're going to talk about all sorts of different things. Sometimes we'll be in modern clothes. Sometimes we won't be in modern clothes. Um, sometimes we might even be in underwear. <gasps> um, but it just depends. Don't get that excited. D yeah, it's not. Exciting. Unless you're really in the stays. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we've got all kinds of ideas. Mm -hmm. So this one's kind of like a DL one. Like we're just talking about experiences that, mm -hmm. that we have had, um, our separate uh, perspectives on things, stuff that you guys have probably also met, you, your idols, yeah. you know, at Costume College or other conventions or conferences uh, and, and had these moments. So we thought we'd share some of ours. Um, embarrassing good yeah. bad like <laughs> uh, fun times but we also want to you know we want to demo showing to uh, sewing <laughs> techniques hair and makeup for 18th century do some victorian stuff i mean we there were like no loss to do <laughs> do all kinds of things on the live cast uh but if you have ideas and specific questions and things you'd like to hear about definitely let us know yeah um and i think before we sign off um we have one more compliment for our headscarves thank you later Thank you, Ellen. Uh, Royal Vintage Facebook for that one. Uh, we just did a, a video on that. If you want to learn how we tied these 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 monstrous pieces of fabrics on our head, um, and then really quickly before we sign out, unless we get any questions while while we hawk our product, <laughs> um, shameless self promotion here. Uh, uh, Royal Vintage Shoes is having their pre order right now. In case you all did not know, um, it's open until S September first. September first. Mm -hmm. Uh, you get $20 off, and if you're in uh, the USA, you get free shipping as well. Um, I started, I got mine uh, a couple days ago, <laughs> and it, it was like Christmas. Uh, <laughs> it was amazing. I was so excited. So for those of you that don't know, American Duchess expanded. We, we have an offshoot brand called Royal Vintage Shoes, specializing in 1920s, 30s, and 40s designs. Mm -hmm. This is our first collection. Uh, we are manufacturing these. Mm -hmm. uh, classic 40s, we've got seven classic 40s options, mm -hmm. and uh, they're available nowhere else. So if you love American Duchess shoes, check out Royal Vintage. It's the two of us and Chris, same warehouse, same office, you know, all of it's the same except same the Same candy in the box. Yeah, you still get a lollipop. So um, uh, yeah, check out Royal mm -hmm. Vintage until September 1st is our pre-order for the classic 40s collection. Yeah. And Zach just wrote, I'm glad I made it to see a live video for once. Hi guys. Hi Zach. Okay, well, I think that's um, some of the experiences. Um, of course, I mean, to finish up, every time we go somewhere, we're going to try and be traveling more. Yeah. We want to meet you guys, even though we're a little bit awkward. Mm -hmm. um, if you take the first step towards us, we, you know, we're actually very friendly people. <laughs> we're not like, ah. Um, <laughs> we do want to meet our customers, our fans. We want to meet people that, you know, that we're fans of. 
So if you have a blog or, or what, what have you, um, please come and say hi. We're going to try and get out to Jane Austen Festival in Louisville. 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 Um, next uh, July, we're going to try and get to Dickens Fair down in San Francisco this winter. We may not make that, but we're going to try. And we're going to be in New York. And we're going to be in New York. And RuffleCon. <laughs> and we're going to stay over in New York City for a few days. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to have uh, fun things planned, meetups, uh, tea mm -hmm. parties, that kind of thing for our travels uh, around the, uh, the country and the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Thanks, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.